Hello everybody and welcome back to Sora Online Hollow Fragment. Headed back in, first time playing it after coming back from vacation. And we've got a goal in mind. We are going- oh hi, there we go. We are going to finish off some of these events. Everyone about Alberic. Visit Agil. Stroll around Trader's Way alone. 85th floor is what we're working on. See you in my room. Go to your room alone during the day. So we will dissolve the party with Argo. And we'll go do Agil first. And then we have to like help people and stuff. That happens off camera. Hey, Kirito, you're late. Did I break a promise I don't recall making? No, but it's about that time, isn't it? Huh? Oh, okay. Now that everyone's here. Great job defeating the boss. Let's give it our all on the next floor, too. Another floor cleared, congrats. We're making pretty good progress, aren't we? At this rate, it probably won't take too much longer to clear all the floors. We can't let our guard down, but we have to take a break every so often, right? Yep, yep. Let's cut loose and enjoy ourselves today so we can keep clearing tomorrow. Exactly right. Without any free time, your life might as well be over. Hey, Silica. Start serving the dishes that are ready. Gotcha. Whoa, there's so much good-looking food. I got Asa to help me out. Eat your fill to keep your energy up. Yo, Agil, how nice of you to treat us all to this. What are you talking about? You organized this party, aren't you footing the bill? Whoa, 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 who told you that? Oh, what's that? Klein's treating us today? Lucky us. I'll have one of everything. Thank you, Klein. Uh, yeah, this is just dropping the bucket for me. <laughs> Here, Kirito, I brought you some food. There's some for you too, Yui. Thank you, Mommy. Let's eat together, all three of us. <laughs> it's hard to work your way in when they're being so family-like. And I wanted to serve Kirito some food, too. How is your food, Kirito? It's got a lot of flavor. It's really good. Austin may have helped, but has got some good, great cooking skills of his own. Really? Well, then I'll have a bite, too. Hmm, so good. You've got a lot of nerve, those two. Me, too. I'm going to go say hi to Kirito. Kirito, this food is good, isn't it? You think so too, Silica? This one's also pretty good. Try it out. What do you think? Thank you, Yui. It's not looking good. Alright, things are in full swing, so it's about time I rolled this bad boy out. What the? Is that a karaoke machine? Well, aren't you surprised? That's exactly what it is. The lyrics even show up. Mommy, what's a karaoke machine? What simply it's a machine that plays music for you when you sing? I think that covers it. So even a pop-up display on top. This is really well made. And wait, wait, wait. Why is something like this an Aincrad? I don't know either. There was a quest that said you could get a great item for parties, so I completed it and got this. Looks like karaoke machine on the outside, but this might this be some type of magic item. Could be classified as Mirage Sphere or something like that. So how about everyone sings one song each? There are quite a few songs in here. Ooh, it's more realistic than I thought. It looks like we could have some fun with this. Wow, we've been through a lot. Shall we sing for the first time in a while? Sing a song together? That sounds like a lot of fun. I'll sing too. Everyone? Does that mean Kirito will sing too? Well, it's a little embarrassing, but I also think Kirito does. Karaoke, huh? I haven't really done it that much, but I'll give it a shot. It's alright if I pass, isn't it? Sure, you don't have to force yourself. Karaoke's all about having fun, right? Since we have the chance, I'm going to try a song. Could do it with Kirito, perhaps. Uh, no, I don't really do those. Oh, but that will be a little difficult to do if there aren't any songs we both know. Daddy and I are going to sing together? I really want to hear that. Shall the three of us try a song together? Yes, I want to sing with Mommy and Daddy. So in the end, I'm going to sing too. <laughs> oh, we don't get to hear the song? La 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 la. Ahem. This is awfully presumptuous of me, but I, Klein, will be starting things off this evening. Do do. So, huh. It's not working. What's wrong, Klein? Have you picked up a bum item? Nah, there's no way I could have. This is strange. What you doing, Klein? <laughs> we can't hear Daddy and Mommy sing. How Klein like? What a joke. No, it's not supposed to be. <laughs> a great item for parties, huh? That's just like you, Klein. Unbelievable. I was disappointed as I was excited. Hey, is that any way to talk to a friend, you guys? You aren't even thankful that I'm treating you to a meal? Thanks for the meal, Klein. Come on, guys. Klein went out of his way to complete a quest so everyone could have fun. 
Well, yeah, but before we knew it, that excitement turned to sadness. I really wanted to hear Kirito sing. Me too. Me three, but there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, your expectations were all a little high anyway. In the end, we shouldn't have expected anything from Klein. Why are you guys going to be so mean to my boy? <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure we'll have another chance to sing. Yeah, once we get out of the we should all go for karaoke for real. On Klein's time, of course. Why would that be? Because <laughs> you got our hopes up, obviously. Thanks, Klein. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was easy. Why do we got to bully Klein? <laughs> Okay, lots of stuff to do. Let's do a gill first. Hey, Kirito, nice timing. Can you come over here? Something up? We're just discussing this guy who wants to join the assault team, Alberic. Something a bit weird about him, so I thought it'd be better if we all discussed the idea first. Okay, so we're doing Alberic first. Alright, him. Yeah, what's with that guy? So you have some reservation about him too, Kirito? There's something about that guy. Can't be too careful when it comes to weirdos, know what I mean? If Kirito knows something, I think we should all hear it. When I was transported to the Hollow area, I didn't have any information about the place. It was really unsettling. If we're going to get involved with this man, I want to know at least some info about him first, so we can deal with him calmly. I see. Okay, I guess it's time I told you. The thing that concerned me the most about him was his equipment, or more specifically the fact he doesn't have the talent to use it. He might appear prepped for battle, but his movements were no different from an amateur's. Yeah, the equipment is wasted on him. It's like pearls before swine. Hmm. You think someone with such stunning armor would be more well-known, but we've never even heard of him. Exactly. It's so odd. You've never heard of someone named Albert before, have you? No, I haven't. Me neither. If his armor doesn't match his abilities, maybe he tricks someone into giving it to him. Or worse. That's definitely a possibility, but he must have had the stats at some point or he wouldn't have been able to wear the equipment. Well, maybe he can't do anything about his moods, so he spent all his waking hours raising his level. I guess that could be possible. But Kirito, it's pretty difficult to imagine that actually happening. Yeah, he'd need to be at a very high level to reach the stats for his armor. And he couldn't have done that with just lower floor enemies. And we know it's not possible to defeat enemies on the upper floors with just impressive stats because they're way craftier than that. Using amateur moves against those kinds of enemies le leveling would be just be far too dangerous. So his high stats remain a mystery. It's a mystery, all right. Almost makes me think that one of his pieces of that one of his pieces of rare equipment helped him raise his stats. If he had the money to buy something like that, it would have been even easier to achieve. You might on to something there, Kirito. <laughs> you might on to something. Whatever the case, we're all agreed. We should be on our guard around him. Person with money and no actual abilities isn't someone you could trust. Not at all. Chances are such a person would use that money to do something weird to us. Weird? Stop it, Liz. Like doing something to Asuna. She stands out from the rest of us, so he might have his eyes on her. You should watch your back, Asuna. Salbert contact Knights of Ops first, right? If I were you, I'd be doubting his true motives. It's too creepy to think about. But Liz is right. We should be careful. There are too many weirdos in this world, too. We strike first. It's not so easy to get away with it back in the real world, but here, we're well within our rights. Sinon, you just gave me goosebumps. I wish I was as confident in myself as you are. But what if we did something to Albrecht and he came back to at us harder? Wouldn't that just make things even more dangerous? Well, if it came to that, the Black Swords would come and save us, right, Kirito? Well, if it comes to him versus you, ladies, my money is on you guys winning. Sounds a lot like you're wimping out on us, Kirito. Or maybe you're thinking we're all collateral damage. No, I was only thinking that since his moves are so amateur, you could... Listen, I'll be there if anything happens. Oh, come on. You should have just said that from the start. I think we all know what to do. Just be careful. And now we talk to Agil. Well, if it isn't my pal Kirito, I was hoping you'd swing by. Um, actually, I just remembered I had an appointment. Hey, hold it. I'm not about to ask you for something if that's what you're worried about. Just had some new equipment delivered. That's all. Good stuff. And had an extra little press to boot. Okay, you've got my interest. Aha, I thought I might. The equipment is this fine piece of apparel. Whoa. It's a bit flash for my taste, but it looks strong enough, alright. With this, I shouldn't have any problems tying the floors above the 76th floor. That's not all. It even comes in snazzy his and hers varieties. His and hers? We both be wearing the same clothes, you mean? That's right. In fact, you and a partner both need to be wearing them at the same time for the equipment to take effect. Isn't that asking a bit much? That's what I thought. 
Think about it, though. Here in SAO, the female-to-male ratio is low, right? So only the luckiest guys get to wear this in the first place. I suppose when you put it like that, you're one of the lucky few in a position to reap the benefits of this item. Take advantage of it. I'll even sell it to you at a special price. Honestly, I'm fine, thanks. Uh, it's not really awesome, this thing, either. If you say so. Say, what do you think of the log cabin's upholstery? I trust it was all up to scratch? You really came through for me, thanks. I knew you'd like it. Put all the stuff for you on that one. But what are buddies for, eh? Don't worry about paying me back, old friend. Uh, yeah. Say, how much were those costumes again? A present for me? Ooh, I'm so excited. Whatever could it be? Um, I wouldn't get too excited if I were you. Anyway, tap the pack and see what you think. Okay. Whoa, what a beautiful outfit. Wait, is this a matching his and hers set? I never would have pictured you as the type. So, Kirito, this is what you're into, huh? No, it's just, well, Egil said... I wasn't sure if you'd like them, so... I just never expected you to give me something like this. But thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad you like it, I think. I'll have to thank Egil later. Now that we've got matching outfits, I guess we should put them on and head out on a date. Huh? I'm wearing these, you mean? Now? When else, silly? I'll just go and get changed, so hold tight a moment, okay? tum ti tum Oh, that's nice. I'm ready. What do you say we hit the- Hey, you're not even changed yet. <laughs> it's just, they're not really my style, so can I just wear my normal clothes, maybe? <laughs> but, but... Well, okay, if we're matching up, it's going to embarrass you that much. Sorry, I got a little carried away, I guess. No, I... So what if it was Agil's idea? I was the one who bought them, after all. If I cared so much about my image, I shouldn't have given them to Austin in the first place. Sorry, Austin, one second. Uh, on second thought, I was just being a little shy about wearing it, that's all. It's fine. I don't want to force you anything you don't want to. You're not forcing me. Besides, I gave them to you because I wanted to see you smile. Oh, Kirito, why didn't you just say that in the first place? Wait, isn't that... It's Lightning Flash Austin, the Black Swordsman. I heard they were married, but I didn't realize they were so lovey-dovey. Cough. Another sandwich, Kirito? Um, yeah. Yeah, why not? It's difficult to relax with everyone staring at us, huh? Tell me about it. I'm feeling really uncomfortable. We do stand out a little, I guess. Maybe we should have picked somewhere else for our date. Turns out these outfits are a little embarrassing after all. I know what you mean. I'm feeling a little self-conscious too, actually. Still, it makes for a nice change, right? To think someday I'd end up going on a date like this in SAO. I know what you mean. Well, so long as you're happy, I'm happy too. You really mean that? In that case, smooch. Mm. Whoa, look at them go. Can't they see us stay right here? They're out of control. Ha, ah, those lousy shows rubbing it in everyone's face just because they struck lucky. What was that for? You had a bit of sauce on your lips. Oh, I'm kidding, silly. We're not even eating anything with sauce. I'm just going to go buy a drink. She's left me here by myself. Wait, if there wasn't really anything on the list, then she just... Did she deliberately kiss me so people would see? Man, could she get any cuter? Wish she wouldn't leave me here all alone in full view of everyone, though. Not that the two of us side by side and these episodes is any better. In fact, it's probably worse. Guess I'll just have to get used to being in the spotlight today. Key item. Matching outfits. Well, might as well see if it's worth it. Oh, I can't equip it. It's just a key item. I'll probably help with, um... The Lover's Quest. Okay, let's knock more off this list. Hey, Yui, thanks for holding down the fort while we were out. That's okay, Daddy. It's the least I could do. It's a lot less tiring than clearing floors all day. Even the hardiest salt team members need to put their feet up from time to time. Oh, Mommy's back, too. Welcome home, Mommy. Hey, Yui. You want to put your feet up, too, Mommy? Believe me, I wish I could, but this game won't clear itself. She's got a point, Asuna. Even you can't go on like this forever. Isn't there something you'd like to do to unwind? I well, I hadn't really thought about it, but now that you ask... Oh, I know. I've got somewhere I'd like to visit. If it's somewhere on one of those upper floors, these upper floors, it's bound to be full of powerful monsters wherever it is. Not to worry. There won't be any powerful monsters interrupting us where I want to go. You mean we could even have a picnic there? Sure we could. With you and Daddy's current strength, it'll be just fine. Is that so? In that case, what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on and visit this idyllic place. Whoopee! I'll make us some packed lunches. You will. Packed lunches courtesy of Asta? Now I really am looking forward to this. Quality and quantity, mommy. Gotcha. Leave it to me. 
So Yui, where is this mystery place you want to take us anyway? Now that we're on the upper floors, it's safest to arm ourselves with as much information as possible. Okay, Daddy, well, let's see. Once we've left the gate, we die. Oh, my. Whoa. How do you like it? Pretty nice view, huh? It's beautiful. I'd have forgotten places this serene even existed. Really is something, Yui. You weren't kidding when you told us about this place. I'm so pleased you both like it. Thanks for bringing us here, Yui. What a perfect spot for our first family picnic. I'd say all the trouble I went back here lunch was worth it after all. Actually, there's more to do here than just look at scenery. Huh? What do you mean? Hee hee hee. Well, the only creatures that spawn around here are friendly, you see. So I was thinking, ta-da! A swimsuit. Where did you get that? Tee hee. Don't worry, I've brought one for me and Daddy, too. Hey, nice thinking, Yui. Wait, I know this material. Yeah, I'd recognize this anywhere. Wait, so that cloth I gave you the other day was so that you could make us each swimsuits? Bingo, right on the money. You made us a present, Yui? How thoughtful. Thank you so much. Well, what are you waiting for? Try them on. It'd be my pleasure. You and I will get changed in the shade of that tree over there, so make yourself scarce, Kirito. Fine. Whoa, you both look great. They really suit you. You too, Kirito. You must have real eye for this stuff, Yui. Thanks, I'm glad you like them. Sound like that, you should think about making clothes. You could sell them and make a pretty profit. Well, I don't know about that. I think the reason these turned out so well is because I was making them specially for you and Daddy. Ah, oh, Yui, don't you just say the sweetest things. Hey, you two, instead of just standing there, why don't you come and take a dip? This lake's amazing. See right through the water to the bottom and all the colorful little fish swim about this... about create this amazing kaleidoscope effect. Hey, Kirito, no fair. Who said you could get him before us? Yeah, Daddy, no fair. Heh, <laughs> well, excuse me. You snooze, you lose. Make fun of us, will you? We'll see how you like this. Hey, so you want to play it like that, huh? Two can play at that game. Good luck getting the better of us if we're going to be that obvious about it. You go around the other side while attacking from both flanks. Hi, hi, mommy. As for daddy, prepare to get splashed. Hey, two against one? In that case, you leave no choice but deploy the big guns. No, that pose is preparing a double-handed attack. You be careful, daddy's plotting to attack us both at the same time. Daddy, you're taking it too far. You wouldn't really attack me, would you? Come on, you. There's no need to look at me like that. He's wide open. Now, Mommy. Now's our chance. One, two, three. Double splash. Child is devious. No fair. I expected better of you, Yui. Stop. It's going up my nose. Devious children. Ah, oh, what a beautiful spot. Thanks for telling us about it, Yui. So long as you and Mommy like it, that's all the thanks I need. If you ask me, this is the prettiest spot in all of Aincrad. That's why I wanted to show it to you. Our house on the 22nd floor was in a pretty area, too. But in terms of scenery, this place trumps it hands down. It's weird, but being here, I feel at peace, like I used to back at our old house. I was just thinking the same thing. I feel refreshed, somehow. Revitalized. Ever since coming to the 76th floor, you haven't been able to return to the lower floors, huh? Including your old home? I know it's not the same, but I hope this place will remind you of how your old house used to make you feel. If it's done that even a little, then I guess this was a resounding success. Yui. Oh, Yui. Hmm? Mommy, Daddy, what's the matter? You don't need to both hug me at once. Were you hugging too tightly, Yui? Sorry, but we just can't help it. No, it's not that. It's not too tight in the slightest. It's just... It feels warm and snug and, well, a little bit tickly. She's always talking about the warmth of a family's love. I know how she feels. Still, for an AI like Yui to pick up on that. I guess it goes to show how much of a true family we've really become. So sweet, you'll get a cavity. Ah, there's nothing like coming home after a long day, eh? But what a fun day it was. Thanks for leading the way, Yui. It sure is nice being able to lounge about in a bikini all day without having to worry about a sunburn. Phew, I think I overdid it a bit with all that swimming, though. I'm going to be stiff tomorrow. No one forced you to swim all the way to the opposite side, remember? I didn't even manage it. That was one jumbo-sized lake, all right. Besides, spot Yui took us to had the better view by miles. Of course. Why do you think I chose that spot over all the others? Probably said this a thousand times already, but thank you, Yui. I really mean it. You're welcome. Although, going there today made me realize how much I'd like to visit your old house on the 22nd floor. Not just because it's pretty, though. I feel like there's something else about it. You know what I think that is? I think it's because it's home. Right, and home is where the heart is, after all. Whenever I think about how we're probably never going to see it again, I get so sad. Yeah. We're unlikely to find a way back to the lower floors now. Clearing the game will only return us to the real world, so we won't even be able to go back then. Still, though, the most important thing is that the three of us can be together like this. If home really is where the heart is, 
Well, then I'd say they're, we're there right now, wouldn't you? Right here, in this inn. I like this inn too, Daddy. It's always bustling with guests, so there's never a dull moment. Homes wherever you make it. Sure, I loved our home on the 22nd floor, but this place has its own charm. I thought we were living in a house now. You're right, so long as the three of us are together anywhere's home. It sounds just perfect to me. Only the three of us could live together happily even after, in our very own home. Turn of the real world means that one day, all of this will inevitably come to an end. Although if the truly important thing is that the three of us are together, maybe there's a way, in the real world too. All depends whether we can find a way to store Yui as data again. I'll need to give us some thought. Big episode today. New message, that's nice. Those matching clothes you got us were so cute. Thank you, going on a day, made me so self-conscious. I had a great time, though. Let's do it again sometime. And then Yui. Seeing Mommy would be so happy. Seeing you and Mommy be me. Ho, ho, ho. Happy. Do again. Bye. <laughs> okay. Stra trailer's way alone. My room alone. So we'll do my room alone by just exiting and backing up. Yo, Kirito, just the man I wanted to see. You're gonna want to hear about some info I got about a new event. It's a totally weird event, though. A couple can go to an NPC and have their future read. Not only that, but you can get an item just for being there. Also, they say the kind of item you get depends on your compatibility. Wow. Events sure come in all shapes and sizes, huh? So what kind of items are they giving out? Couples with really good compatibility get something really rare, or so I heard. Mommy and Daddy should go, then. They'll definitely get a really rare item. Well, it sounds like Yui's got very high expectations for us, but how about it? Do you want to try it out? I'm guessing you're not going to be passing up the chance to get a rare item anyway, am I right? Well, I'd be lying if I said that didn't seal the deal for me, so... It's Fortune Teller's at the back of the town square, right? That's right. So you ready, Kirito? Yeah, let's do it. That must be the Fortune Teller. Excuse me, but we're here to have our fortune read. Is this the right place? Welcome. Now, let me take a look. An unusual future awaits the two of you. Murky is this future, and clouded is the road ahead. Troubles may befall you, yes. For the two of you, I have this. Good luck in whatever the future brings. It sounded pretty bad as far as fortune telling goes. Let's take a look at what we got. It's an annealed blade. Isn't this sword you used near the beginning of the game? Yeah, I got it after a really tough quest. It was a really precious item at the time, but that was back when I was just starting. Could hardly call this a rare item, huh? To be honest, I'm kind of shocked. An annealed blade, huh? I don't think this necessarily says you and Asuna's compatibility isn't very good. I think I'm going to give it a try next. Me and Kirito are siblings. Our compatibility should be off the charts. I don't think it's that kind of compatibility. It might be some kind of special flag you need to trigger or something. I guess we won't find out unless we try, though. Come on, let's go. Hello, sorry to bother you. Would you mind reading our future? Hmm. I see something in your future, but know this. If you do not desire it, it will not come to pass, yes. For the two of you, I have this. May fortune and happiness be yours truly. Did you hear that, Kazuto? If we wish hard enough, we'll get what we want. And he said there's definitely something in our future, but... Did you hear what I said, Kazuto? Kazuto? It's just a teleport crystal. This isn't a rare item, or even close to one. What? No way. At least it's a useful item. But... but... I think the trick is to show the fortune teller just how good your capability is before saying anything to them. That might be it, but how are you going to show them exactly? Well, I mean, we could, oh, I know, we could lock arms or something. You want to hold my arm as we walk with Fortune Teller? Well, I guess it's worth trying. Right, I mean, I don't have a problem doing this. Are we sure we're not overthinking this? Asta, I'm borrowing Kirito for a little bit. <laughs> I have bad build compatibility with everyone because of everybody else. Hmm. Oh, would you mind waiting just a minute? Kirito, you need to get closer to me. Stand so my back is pressed against your chest. And you're looking over my shoulder. You mean like this? Eek! What's wrong? Sorry, Kirito, I just felt your breath on my neck and it tickled. Sorry, Silica, I didn't realize. I'll step back a little then. No, you need to get as close as physically possible. We'd like our features read. Hmm. This is promising. 
I see a radiant glow ahead, however, reaching it will not be easy, though it is within your power to overcome any obstacles. For the two of you, I have this. May you bask in the radiant glow that awaits. It's a broadsword, and it has a unique name. Dad honestly suggests it's a top-class weapon. So that means, safe to say that this is a rare item. Yes, I knew you and I had great compatibility. Really? Silica? <laughs> Now we're getting somewhere. The trick seems to be in taking the hands-on approach. I guess when you look at the results, hard to deny it played a part in how it went. Maybe we need to check one more time to be really sure if holding each other was the main factor in getting a rare item. And I'd like to give it another try, so I guess I should cuddle up to Kirito as much as possible, right? I want to try again too, I hate losing like this. I don't think this is something you can win or lose, Sugu. I'm going with you guys, I want to see for myself with just how much bump and grind is needed to seal a deal and get a rare item. Well, let's all go. Everyone's gonna crowd around me. Okay, Kirito, hold me close from behind. What? Just do what I said. Okay, okay. Here we go. We're here to have our fortune read. There is nothing more to tell you. Follow your heart. Guess the flag has already been tripped. It seems like this is a one-time thing for each couple, but... And how about teaming up with me? Okay, sure. No, no, not you with a girl, dummy, a girl. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling kind of tired right now. <laughs> me too. Hey, you guys are really emotionally scary, but you know. <laughs> huh? What are you all doing here? Hi, Straya. I think I can explain. That's amazing. Can I have a try? Hold up. There's a pecking order here, and I'm next. No problem. So how exactly are you going to get physical? Right, we need to lock down the approach. Listen, I uh, would appreciate if you would go easy on me. <laughs> hey, I've got a brilliant idea. Wait here. Huh, what is it? I'm getting a feeling this is spinning out of control. Don't worry, no one's going to get hurt. Sorry to keep you waiting. Is that a barbecue skewer you have in your hand? Yes, it is, and Kirito's going to eat it. What does that mean? Open wide, Kirito. Oh, now I get it. I think that should be just right. Wait a minute, that's too... Just open your mouth, would you? Now. Hello, we're here to get our futures read. Hmm. Your destiny is a particularly peculiar one. The road will bend in unexpected places and lead to great collaborations with others. The two of you, I have this. May your future be paved with pure happiness. Is this made from gold? Yeah, but it doesn't look like it's worth that much. It's not really rare, is it? I'm happy, sure, but I'm not bowled over either. Not sure what else we need to do to get something better. It's pretty much a crapshoot. Alright, I'll go this time. You want to try with me? Will it work with a non-player character? Daddy, you need to carry me in your arms, okay? Sure, you. I'm gonna pick you up now. You ready? Now hug me like you mean it. Like this? Yes, that's perfect, Daddy. Hello, please read our futures. Hmm. This is not your average future, I see. Hmm. A formidable obstacle will stand in your way. Overcome this and the bond between you will be forever unbreakable. For the two of you, I have this. May your lives be rich and bountiful. Hey, we actually got something. It's a corridor crystal. It's nothing to complain about, but definitely not a rare item. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Yui. I'm sure the fault is with your daddy. What other reason could there be? Hey, that's not fair. But it went well when you did it with Silica, right? What makes her different from everyone else? Any ideas, Silica? If I think back to how I felt, it's kind of fuzzy. To tell the truth, my heart was racing so fast I could barely think. Guess we're back to the drawing board, then. Wait a minute. Maybe Silica has something. If she was really nervous right before she went up, maybe that could be the key. It wasn't touchy-feely stuff that worked, but the fortune has to judge your valid based on how nervous you are. I mean, our emotions are being read, I see. Well, I guess that's possible. So let's settle then. Come on, Kirito, give me your arm. Easy there, Philly, you're gonna pull it off. But we've gotta make sure I'm really nervous, don't we? This is the best way. Please tell us what the future has in store for us. How was it? What did you get? An antidote crystal, as useful as it is, it's not a rare item. Our nervous strategy was a total fail. You're up, Sinon. I'll tell you all up front, but all of that grabbing and holding each other's stuff is definitely not okay with me. Right. Holding hands is okay. Then holding hands it is. Here, take my hand. Ahem. We would like our futures read, please. Hmm. <clears throat> your hearts will decide what is to come. But beware, your hearts may lead you down a sinister path as easily as they bring you joy. For the two of you, I have this. May your future be bathed in the warmth of light. A cross dagger. Didn't we see one of these on the shelf of the NPC's weapon shop the other day? It's one of a thousand others by my recollection. 
guess that leaves me. I'm going with the snuggling up to one other trick. We're going to ace this Kirito. Honestly speaking, this is the only one matchup that scares me, so how do you want to play it? <laughs> Let's see, how about you squeeze me tight, and then we end up with us smooching. Smooching? Wait a second, there's no way you two are doing that. Really? Okay, I think I can survive with just you holding me. Well, I guess I can accept that, but it's a one-time thing, okay? No more after this. What is your angle, Straya? My body is ready. Here I come. Kirito, we need our body to be really close to each other. I can feel her breasts against my arm, and now it's buried between both of them. Okay, tell us what our future is. Hmm, your future is a mysterious one. I see it shrouded in a thick, dark cloud. You should expect the unexpected ahead. Aw, really? Two of you, I have this. May you break through the fog to a clear future. What's this? An annealed blade. Same thing Asa and I got. It's the same item you guys got. That must be we're compatible enough to get married one day, right? No, I don't think so. I'm starting to think the items we get are completely random. Klein, you want to try it out with me? Why the hell do I gotta try it with you? Oh, well, whatever. Fine, let's do it. Give me a rare item with Klein. <laughs> He's the boy. Guess we get a rare item. It'll make up for a pretty funny story. I don't know why I have to go with you and all these cute girls around. Uh, hey. Don't tell me we have to get up close physical with each other. Of course not. What does our future hold? Ah, uh, music change. This is incredible, yes! <laughs> the path is clear with no one to block your way. Anything you wish for shall be yours. For you, I have this. This is a... S-class ingredient? Oh, wow. It's like I said, it's completely random. You said it. Now that we know it's just random chance, it kind of feels disappointing. Kirito and... Klein? Hmm? Well, we knew that you were good friends, but we never really imagined you were that close. It's totally random, right, Kirito? Of course it's random. I don't know where you get these ideas from. <laughs> How can you be so sure? Maybe you and Klein are an uncanny match. Hey, what are you trying to say? I'm not into guys. I just don't swing that way. It'll be a funny story. Yeah, right. I feel like crying now. <laughs> we need to get the word out that any guys who think twice before trying this event is a male only couple. I'd quick. <laughs> uh, just, just straight up. Klein and I are bros. No further than that, but just bros for sure. Okay, Trader's Way. The cap off this episode. That's this way, I think. Hmm, there's something strange familiar about this battered old book. Let's have a look. Their powers were truly divine. Vol Volander's hammer. Wait a second, I know that hammer. This must be the continuation of the ancient manuscript. According to this book, Volander's hammer is in a cave on the 85th floor. I need to tell Liz right away. Liz, are you there? Kirito. So glad you could come. Wait, what's the matter? I found the second part of that ancient manuscript. I know where Volander's hammer is. Are you serious? Where is it? It's in a cave on the 85th floor. That's amazing. Let me see. Here, have a look. Huh? What's this? What's the matter? Did you find a problem? It says that this hammer gives an incredible boost to the quality of a blacksmith's work. Hey, that's great. Great. It's better than great. What's wrong? Great is great, isn't it? Listen to me. The quality of weapon is based on the materials used and the blacksmith's skill, but it's always assigned randomly. Apparently, though, with this item, the maximum quality level assignable to a weapon can be increased. Wow. To put it simply, I'll have a much better chance of forging a great weapon. Wow. Volander's hammer sounds like an amazing item. I don't think she's exaggerating this time. We'd better get going. We don't want anyone to snatch it before we can get our hands on it. Um, Liz, are you listening? Hehe, <laughs> that hammer shall be mine. I swear it. Just you wait, Volander's hammer. We're coming to claim you. Nope, she's not listening to a word I say. Par for the course. Payos. So, Volander's hammer, that's all 85th floor stuff. And I gotta level up Sinon, and I gotta finish her hollow quest. Those are all things I gotta do. But that'll be a story for next time. That was a long one of a lot of progression of plot and stuff. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna go and uh, clean up uh, the various helper quests that aren't the 85th floor. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye for now.